So today I was trying to organize my shed a little bit more and I came across a big stack of old saw blades that were pretty much dull, not going to use them on my table saw anymore. So I figured maybe I could turn this junk into something useful like a knife. First thing I did was find a knife that I liked the shape of, then placed it on the saw blade and worked the position until I found the right spot where the holes weren't interfering too much. Then just simply trace it out I like to go over the lines twice just to make sure that they're nice and dark and easy to see for when I'm grinding later. After you take off the knife, take a look at your outline and see if there's any areas where you can maybe extend the knife blade out a little bit more or reshape the handle to your liking. I'm going to use an angle grinder to cut out the knife. These things throw pieces of metal everywhere, so I'm going to put on my safety glasses, wear my ear protection. Also, make sure they're nice and clean because it's already pretty difficult to see your lines while you're using the angle grinder. Now just follow your lines. I like to stop every now and then just to double check that I'm still on my lines and not cutting into any material that I want to keep for my knife. After the cutting is complete, the metal is going to be hot and have jagged edges, so don't forget your gloves. Now I am going to grind off those jagged edges and start to make the shape of the knife. I'm also going to take a little bit of the material off to make the bevel, just so I can reduce the amount of time that I'm going to spend on the sander. All right, here we just got done grinding the main grinder. So I decided for the hole in the middle just to put like a little kind of custom thumb grip in there for chopping. So we'll see how that turns out. All right, now for the boring part. Probably gonna take a lot of sanding. Get this metal nice and smooth. Especially since I have this 1993 belt sander it's over 20 years old but yes it's all I got right now so let's get started <laughs>
So now that we've let the epoxy set up for a day, it's nice and strong, stuck together, I don't think it's coming apart. All we have to do is sand it. All right, now that it's all hardened up, the epoxy's ready to go. I'm gonna take the grinder, just do the rough sanding. And move to the belt sander for final shaping and making the handle nice and smooth. Okay, here we are. Have it all sanded up now. Last thing to do, put a little linseed oil on it, call it a night. One of my favorite parts about working with any project that involves wood is the final oil or stain putting it on and just watching the grains pop out. So here's the finished knife. Now this was a fun project and it's a knife that I'll probably have for years to come. It was enjoyable for the most part. Making it custom to myself fits probably like no other knife I've ever had. It's like just perfect. Cuts beautifully and <laughs> it was fun. So definitely I would recommend if you have a couple hours on a Friday or Saturday night or Sunday, Definitely try it out, make your own, see what you can do.